Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Wingsound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your clips in Ableton to do it the best way you want. Uh, this is really important in your live DJ set to have different options as far as launching your clips. So check it out. All right, so to bring in a audio clip into session view, all you have to do is drag it, whatever you want, from the file browser into a clip slot in session mode, or if you're in arrangement mode, drag it to wherever you want in the song. I'm going to concentrate on session mode this time. And um, once you have the desired clip in there, you launch it by pressing the play button and stop it by pressing any of the stop buttons in that track. Um, basically what Live does is it launches clip play clips and stop clips. So you have your stop buttons here. So over here we have our master scenes and you can rename these um, by right clicking or command R uh, into intro, verse, chorus, whatever you want and that will launch that whole horizontal scene as you can see there and I'm going to go ahead and launch scene 2 go ahead and stop those now as you can see this clip kept playing when I launched scene 2 because I removed the stop button here. Uh, Command E will add or remove that stop button and uh, when I put it back in there you'll see that that clip will stop when I launch scene 2. And I'm going to go ahead and launch scene 3 and everything in that line will launch. Now when you click on the clip itself, you will see your clip info at the bottom here. And what that will show is your waveform, um, your loop brace, and your s stop and start markers right here. Um, you also have launch options, sample, editor and envelope editors. Um, I will talk about those more in detail in other videos. Um, but for now, you got some pretty cool options here in the waveform window here. Uh, this is your loop brace. So this will control where your clip actually loops from. So for example, if I wanted this clip to loop only in the second bar of the loop, you'll see what happens here. Oops, wrong one. As you can see, it only loops on what I told you to. And you can play with this live for some pretty cool effects. And you get the point. You can do some cool stuff there. Um, additionally, you have some options on where to start and stop the clip with your markers. Here, so if I wanted to start this loop on the second bar, but I wanted to loop the whole thing, I would put the marker on the second bar and put the loop around the whole clip. So you have some pretty cool options there, as well as uh, little time stre stretching capabilities for if you're loading in an audio track that isn't exactly on time and you want to play with certain parts of it you can do that here by selecting each one of these numbers here you can always get in touch with kevin at wingsound.com as well as watch more of kevin's videos including these titles featuring ableton live now available on demand at wingsound.com